What's up everyone? Merry Christmas. Before we get into the content for today's episode, I just want to take a moment here and just kind of reach out and say hello, uh, Merry Christmas, wherever you are in the world, family, friends, acquaintances, everyone. I hope that you're enjoying the holiday season and that's exactly what we're going to talk about here. Uh, before we get into that, I just really want to say thank you for everyone that's been tuning into this podcast. It's on like episode 25 or 26 here and this has been like the funnest project I've really ever done. I've gotten so much joy and uh, fulfillment out of just connecting with a lot of really interesting and inspiring people that have just really um, yeah shared a lot of personal stories and things that they've experienced and gone through and I've really really enjoyed it. So if you've tuned in and checked any out, if this is your first one, I appreciate you're here. But in 2019, I've already got about 35 other episodes pre-recorded with absolutely amazing, amazing guests, like superstars. So really ramping up to deliver a lot of value and content, a lot of content coming out in the new year. So uh, yeah, it's been phenomenal and I really appreciate all the support. And especially those of you who have shared this or left a review on iTunes or subscribe to the YouTube channel, thanks so much. Like I, I really uh, appreciate that and take notice of it. So lots of love to you. Um, so getting into today's topic, I'm 97% sure it's going to offend and trigger some of you, but I'm 100% sure that I don't care because I think it's a really important message and what we're being bombarded with through the mainstream media is just stuff that really causes a lot of stress and discomfort and just unnecessary trials and tribulations for people around the holidays. And today's Christmas here and I just want to share something with you that if you're feeling overwhelmed, stressed out, tired, burnt out, anxious, broke from buying gifts for everyone, that's not what this is all about at all. Like. Christmas is supposed to be a time to just relax and kick back and just be with friends and family. And it's totally become a commercial holiday that is anything but that. You know, I was just talking to my dad, uh, both my parents actually, and they live in a city that has the biggest shopping mall in North America called West Edmonton Mall. And this place is a madhouse on a regular day. Um, on today or yesterday and tomorrow, the day before Christmas and Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, it's absolutely freaking mayhem. And it just got me thinking like, why, why has Christmas become this commercial present giving holiday where people are stressed out, traveling, um, family feuds and just like unhealthy, uh, just unhealthy living during this time that's supposed to be like the most wholesome and healthy. And it was interesting because I was at church today. Um, it's like, you know, Christmas day, I went to 11 at morning mass. And I want to read you something that just totally blew me away that I go to a Korean mass and I don't know what they're saying. So I actually just bring my, my, my Bible and I just read it myself and go up, to take communion. So I just read this one paragraph today that talking about the, the season of rest, it's insane what happened, what used to happen back in the day. So I'm just going to read you this little glimpse of it, just to kind of show you how important taking time for yourself is and not to get caught up in all of this mayhem that becomes the holiday season. So it says, um, one day while the people of Israel were in the wilderness, one of them was caught gathering wood on the Sabbath day. So the Sabbath day was like the holy day where the Israeli Jewish people just weren't allowed to do anything. So it was from like Friday night sunset until, uh, until like Saturday night sunset. So like for like 24 hours, you weren't supposed to do any work at all like that. When I was in Israel, people like the Orthodox Jews, they actually still don't even like turn on a light or use electricity or cook anything on that day like all the shops are closed the streets are empty and people are just like at home with their family kicking it chilling like just straight up not doing anything and so what happened was 
this one Israeli was caught gathering wood on this holy day, this day of rest. And then it says he was arrested and taken before Moses uh, and the other judges. They jailed him until they could find out the, the Lord's mind concerning him. The Lord said to Moses, the man must die. All the people shall stone him to death outside the camp. So they took him outside the camp and killed him and the Lord as the Lord had commanded. Think of that. The guy was gathering sticks probably to start a fire to feed his family and he was stoned to death. Stoned to death. Imagine being stoned to death. That's like the most gruesome way to go, I can imagine, for just not relaxing on the holy day. So just imagine how pissed God was for that and how pissed he would be for people that are living the way they're living now on the ultimate day of rest, which is Christmas. It's just supposed to be family, friends, gathering. And I know for a fact, my friend from Japan was visiting here this past weekend, and she had to go back to Tokyo because she works today. She works on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. And my doctor friend here in Korea is also working now today. And there's a lot of people in a lot of countries that are just in this mindset of just produce productivity, profit, and for what? What's the point of all this stuff if you can never just take time to just sit back and be with the ones you love, the people you care about, your friends, family, your own mental health? And talking about mental health, I think there's a reason why countries like Japan and Korea have the highest suicide rates in the world because they don't have time for themselves. They don't have time for their families. They don't have time for breathing, right? Just being or unplugging from the rat race. They're constantly on this hammock wheel and they've got the highest suicide rates in the world because they're disconnected, plain and simple. Are they prosperous? Yeah. Are there a lot of rich people in Japan, Tokyo? Of course. But at what expense? At what expense? So I want you to think about at what expense are you living your holiday season? Are you stressed out? Are you even taking time to acknowledge or check in with your spiritual side. Do you go to mass? Do you celebrate Christmas? And that's a whole other thing where people can't even say Christmas anymore. It's like happy holidays. Like how, how twisted has it become where what, you know, today is 2018 is God's birthday. You know, that's how old he is. So I think that we really have to reevaluate things. And if you want to really take this a step deeper, there's a couple, um, there's a couple YouTube videos about how society has kind of gone down this path. Um, oh, what was the name of that one? I can't remember the name of it, but I watched it like last month and it talked about how consumerism became a thing. And it was like a social experiment that um, uh, Sigmund Freud's cousin, so there's, there's Freud, everyone knows Freud, he's like this popular, you know, thinker and philosopher and scientist throughout the ages, but actually his nephew, was it his, yeah, nephew was the guy behind the scenes to actually create all these um, mass marketing ads for people to desire products and services. And he was the guy that basically invented the shopping mall. It's a phenomenal, phenomenally like interesting documentary about how society has really became um, positioned to look at consumption of gifts, of money, of partners, of attention, of celebrities, of everything. It was so interesting, and I'll just leave you with one thing. Uh, one one thought that he they he had was why do only men smoke? So he ran a marketing campaign to hire all the most beautiful women at this time in like the 1940s and have them all march in the big New York uh, parade. Like I think it was actually a Christmas parade or maybe Thanksgiving or something, but they had a big parade. And then at the end of the parade, at one specific moment, all the women were told to take out a cigarette 
light it up and start smoking. And since then, all the photographers capture that image and there's TV, and there's just all this media around it. And then that just spread throughout the whole country. And then like the next few months, cigarette sales just went nuts for women smokers. Just that one little thing triggered this whole new movement of women smokers. And you're probably wondering, what does that have to do with Christmas? Well, it has to do with the mentality of people that always want to be getting more, consuming more, and really not taking a step back to say, well, will this really make me happy? Or what do I really want? And all these kids out there that want presents from their families, what these kids only really want is your attention. All they really want is to know that your, their mother and father loves them. But the way that we're conditioned now to show love and show appreciation and show caring is here's a Nintendo, here's a new car, here's a diamond ring, here's a new sweater. All this stuff that is a barrier to what really matters to people and that's connection, communication, caring, compassion, love, uh, and just being there for each other. And that's the thing about the holidays. I think people are so caught up in all the details of it, they don't even realize what it's really all about. So just check in with yourself. What do holidays mean for you? Are you busy running around shopping and trying to get all this useless stuff, trying to impress people that all they wanna do is just hang out with you and they don't need all this stuff? Or are you really self-aware enough to take a step back and be like, well, I'm not gonna play this game anymore. I'm going to do something else that will make me happy. Like maybe, I don't know, whatever that is for you. For me, it's definitely not partaking in this whole mainstream holiday season of um, materialism and consumption. Um, I'm going to have another t uh, episode coming out about minimalism because I'm really pretty heavy into that um, the last few years. And um, I'm also going to have a really, really, some really heavy, hardcore, intense, like super intense um, episodes coming out all about family dynamics and family relationships and how toxic and just basically screwed up most people are because of this new realm of what society has created. So it's gonna really cut deep, um, I think, a lot of people, but it's a message that I think needs to be shared, especially over the holidays. For example, I'll give you one tip of what's gonna be coming soon, is I connected with a woman who's been searching for her biological father for her whole life. And we did this talk about what that was like, not having a father figure, and her search for half of her biology, not knowing what her family dynamic, dynamics or genetics are. Um, we've got another talk coming up with a father who has been systematically cut out of his child's life through the court. Uh, his video has over almost 2 million views, like 1.5 million views. Uh, it's phenomenal. So there's a lot of content I'm gonna be putting out that try to um, make people think and question why things are the way they are. Peace. Sorry to be kind of dark or philosophical on this holiday of festivities, but you know, it's good to look at both sides of the equation and why things are the way they are in question. Love you. Thanks for tuning in. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And see you in the next show.